What we've seen is that President, former President Trump has weathered every political storm, including criminal cases brought against him. Um, I think the most important criminal case is the January 6th insurrection case. As you know, the Supreme Court has essentially put that case on hold while it evaluates President Trump's argument that he's immune from prosecution. If that case were to go forward, there could be new allegations around his involvement in the insurrection. If that is going on while the uh, election is going on before November 6th, that could have an impact. Why would that have an impact for Republican voters when some were, I guess, questioning uh, the outcome of the election themselves? So why would that have an impact even if he was found guilty on, on that uh, indictment? I think it's a fair question that you raise. Uh, in fact, uh, the Republicans and the Republican Party have really um, hitched their wagon to President Trump. And while some may be critical of his language, of his aggressiveness, even his own personal conduct, they have, by and large, stuck with him. Nonetheless, criminal cases are different. And if allegations that people really haven't focused on um, are established, that could cause some hesitation. In a close race with very, very, very uh, important close states, that could tilt the election Biden's way. Um, just a quick word back on the the immunity of the president or not. It's inconceivable, isn't it, that the Supreme Court would vote against a fellow Republican, isn't it? Well, Very Steve... It's 6-3 at the moment in terms of Republicans versus Democrats on the sure, Supreme Court. Sure, the Republicans certainly have the majority of the, on the Supreme Court. This immunity question, however, um, I think is a slam dunk. Uh, and so while you may get one or two uh, uh, Republican-appointed judges to side with President Trump, as they so seemingly we're always do. Six three seven two that he's not immune. The Supreme Court will find that he is not immune uh, from criminal acts. Carl, when do we get that? That's a very good question, um, and uh, the Supreme Court will likely uh, hear argument and rule on that at the end of this term. Uh, that could be in June, uh, and then depending on the ruling and timing, you could have a trial in Washington D.C. on the insurrection. But. Um, there is a large number of Americans, and it's not for me to make a value judgment on that, that think that the president, the former president, is being persecuted by the legal system, which is skewed by Democrat judges and uh, democratically leaning legal forces as well. Do you have understanding for that view from circa 50 percent of Americans? Well, it is an interesting concept uh, that President Trump has uh, indeed embraced this theme of martyrdom. Um, that he is being persecuted because he's the people's choice. Um, the reality is that this is politics, not a criminal trial. And in politics, President Trump has proven to be more uh, uh, sustainable, if you will, uh, than others might have. Uh, he, he's incredibly sustainable as well. Can I just jump and ask you what happens from here then? If there is a criminal conviction, would that mean that Trump could not run for the election and Nikki Haley could relaunch her campaign? We know she only suspended hers. Is that the playbook for the Republicans if it came down to that? We are in totally unchartered territory. Never has there been a presidential candidate for a major party facing criminal prosecution. It could very well be that a conviction has no impact on the president of the United States and that the president of the United States gets convicted indeed is a convicted felon and still serves as a president of the United States. Uncharted territory. It's quite extraordinary. Um, but, I mean, we're not talking... Are, are we talking about jail time, potentially, and the, the president of the United States being behind bars? Is that possible? You know, speculation uh, is not where I'd like to be, yeah. but in this realm, anything and everything is possible. First, you'd have to have a conviction, and then you'd have to have a sentence, and all that would have to occur before uh, the president became president because the law in the United States is that criminal trials should be delayed while a president is president. That's why the game plan of President Trump on these criminal trials has been to stall and delay.